And we're back. Which some more satisfactory? Well, in the background there, I haven't made any changes to the factory, but I did do some exploring. And by exploring, I mean deforestation and a little bit... Whoa, what did you... Go? Yeah, I've tried taming these things already. They, uh, it, it did not go well, so I'll get around to that later. I'll have to look up how to tame those doggos, but right now I don't think, I don't think we need them. Uh, the only real changes we've made in the background is uh, we set up a little bit of automated production for biofuel. Just, ah, oh, it was taking too long. But... All of this deforestation and annihilation of local wildlife has left us with a whole bunch of research stuff, so I'm kind of curious to find out what it all does. Uh, inside here we've got access to sulfur now, I suppose, which we can... Uh, I love that research takes three seconds. Why does it even take three seconds? Just get rid of the seconds and just give us sulfur. Right, so now we... Added to the hmm. resource scanner. Black powder. That sounds promising. That sounds uh, sort of explosive. Uh, I think we'll, we'll investigate that some more. We'll also do court. Come on, just, just get rid of the three seconds. I don't even see the point of that. Now we'll have to do some more research down that lane as well. But it gets us silica, and it also gets us yeah, quartz crystal. Okay, and uh, nutrients wise, oh damn it, I still haven't found one of those bacon things. Yeah, I'll pick them up at some point. Caterium. Hmm. Okay, we'll add a little bit of caterium to the tree. What does that do? Basically, gold. Okay, so caterium is gold. I was confused as to what caterium was. Uh, now, alien organs, we'll research that. Another three seconds of waiting, and we have... Yeah. God damn it. Okay, so can, can I research that now, too? Okay, what does that give us? Come on. A mechanical inhaler. Okay, and an inflated pocket dimension. Plus six inventory slots. You know what? I, I kind of like the idea of a pocket dimension. That sounds, uh, that actually sounds really awesome. Oh, and we can also research this one. Like I said, we did a lot of exploration, annihilating the local fauna, flora, fauna, wildlife, all that stuff. A rebar gun. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. What, what do I need? I'll be back. Rotors acquired. Now, oh, oh, five minutes. Okay, fine. You're going to take five minutes. That's grand. Uh... Ooh, we also need some more carcasses so we can get an extended tool belt, and we're going to need some other alien carcasses so we can get the expanded inventory slots. But yes, 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 very good. Or right, we need to make some changes to the factory. Uh, namely, I need to just organize things a bit better. Over here was where we were producing all our basic resources, our iron plates, screws, bars, all that stuff. I need to move that all over to this uh, more organized, foundation factory. Which shouldn't be too hard, especially now since we've got access to Mark II belts. I knocked out all the basic research in the... Uh, the mam over there so now all we need to do is well expand this out slightly and we definitely have more room and there's been a few changes uh for example let's go to the concrete now it used to be i was just using the concrete by placing them one at a time and there's multiple ways to do it but i found a mod that's um really good and uh, let me try and show this uh, say grab this here and there's a little red arrow on top it's called the smart mod so what we can do is we can just go say oh damn it hold there, and that means it just sticks out there, and then we can use the arrow keys to just spread it out. So, you know what? Yeah, go that direction. Quite a bit. And then we'll just place you. And all done. Ah, just allows you to place a lot of concrete very quickly, and allows us to expand our factory rapidly. It also allows you to do it with multiple machines, so you can string out furnaces, you can put down like 20 furnaces at the one time, all this sort of stuff. Haven't played around with it too much, but I think a little bit of modifications are in order just about here. The trees actually look pretty at night. What's those glowing things on them? That's... Ah. Huh. I almost feel bad that I chopped down all the ones around our base. Well, not all of them. I mean, as our base expands, we'll find new trees to chop down. Or, you know, there'll, there'll always be some trees somewhere, unless we get really dedicated. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Actually, I think I'll wait till morning before I explain this mess. So a quick explanation of some of the modifications we've made here, because I didn't do an awful lot of building, but honestly, you don't get an awful lot of return out of this. Uh, we basically optimized this reinforced iron plate, so it's getting enough iron plate and screws at all times to just keep operating. We put a little overflow on it here, so some iron plate blacks up over that section, but it, nothing too major, just basically putting down machines and making sure there was uh, everyone had what they needed. We have uh, one thing here containing our screws. So we've got screws here, hit reinforced plate over there, some iron plate being produced over there. Uh, then over here, we've got our rotors being produced and our rotors get stuck on the end. All of these are going to be necessary for doing, well, different bits and bobs. And I think there's a, there's an iron bar factory back here somewhere. Where, where are you? Come on, you're, you know what? It's here somewhere, right? I can't remember where I put it, but it's in there somewhere. And over this section, we just have, well, biomass burning. So, 
This takes all the wood. This thing over here takes all the leaves. The two of them feed into these machines. And the other side spits out biomass. Biomass all gets dumped in here, which then gets sent to this machine, which turns it into solid biofuel. And it all gets sent down here to the end, where we have, well, too much biofuel. Well, that's what powers the factory. Okay, all of that gun, done. Sorry, done. Let's go get the rebar gun. To build the rebar gun, we go back to the workshop. There, well, equipment workshop. Damn it, wrong button. And then we want to build ourselves the rebar gun here, which is actually relatively cheap. Uh, I wonder how much this thing... Does it actually consume ammo, or is it infinite? You know what? We'll find out in a minute once the construction is done. Perfect. I will take it. Now, let's see. I, now, I, from what I've heard, this isn't a great gun, but... I'm willing to give it a go. No ammo. Ah, damn it. What, 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 what do I need to get ammo for this thing? Turns out we needed to research the ammunition. So that just required 25 rudders and some iron rods. We, we already had those in our inventory. Fairly simple. Eh, I, I still don't get why there's three seconds involved there. All right, now I just got to figure out where we produce this stuff. Turns out you can handcraft this if you want, or you can throw together a machine to make it. All it takes is iron rods. Doesn't even seem that complicated at all. One iron rod... Well, yeah, one iron rod gives you one spiked rebar. They really do look vicious. I mean, that's that's against some sort of convention, right? You're basically just firing drill bits at people. You. So we now have a rebar gun. Unfortunately, it's single shot. Then you gotta... God... That bolted fire just looks evil. Okay, I don't get why you can't just keep left-clicking to reload. The, the, making us press or just feels like a waste of time. Let's go find something to try this on. We did not have to go far at all. Hey, we can finally make them take notice of us. Hey, come back here, buddy. Damn, those things can move when they want to. Where, where, where'd it go? Okay, let, let's go find some dogs instead. While searching for doggos to kill, we have found a bacon agaric. Dear Lord, I've been looking for one of these for a while. All right, now that our luck's in, let's go find some doggies. Would you look at that? Perfection. Uh, you, what happens if I shoot you with that thing? Y do you notice? Oh, wrong button. Please tell me they can't get up here. That would be hilarious. Hey, can you get up here? Oh, wait, they can. Never mind. I regret nothing. <laughs> this, uh, you may feel an uncomfortable pressure. <laughs> okay. Not terrible. It does cut down on some of the annoyance with these guys. Hey, come back here, buddy. Stop running away like that. Stay still. Stay. Damn it. He was doing zigzags. All right. I'm going to go down and uh, get me some more organic mass. While I was busy looking around for some nice plants to add to our inventory, I managed to run into another one of those doggos. Only it wasn't one of the small ones we could jump over. Unfortunately, it was one of the large ones. I tried to make it a break for it, but, um, yeah. And it looks like this big dog over here, it just can't, it has terrible pathing options. Does this mean I can just sit here forever and just keep shooting it? That feels a little broken. I think I know why they don't have many ranged weapons in this game. Yeah, that felt, uh, yeah, that felt good, though. Not gonna lie, did kill me. Using this gun has definitely made things so much easier. Like, if I was dealing with one of these weird fire-breathing doggies... I, I don't know even what, what you call these things. I, I gotta actually look up the names of these critters at some point. But dealing with one of these before was really painful because you had to get in close. And I don't ever bother recharging my health. It, it, like, you, you know, you, you hold, hold on to the health just in case you need it later on. You don't, but, you know, I, I can't help breaking that habit. But uh, this thing just allows you to stay at a distance and just pepper them with bolts. It's actually a lot safer and easier to use. Uh, last I heard, though, this thing was terrible, though maybe I think you get a, a sword later on that might be far superior to this, so maybe that was what they're talking about? But for now, I am more than happy to use this thing. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Uh, um... Right. So you're going to harvest the fix-it personnel. Uh, this is a bit weird. So, um... Not enough space for harvest. summer sloop. But... Right. Okay. Um... Hmm. 
I should probably empty out some space. Still, I'm having lots of fun killing all these things. Seriously, once you get the gun, it makes life so much handier. One of the annoying things about exploring is sometimes the way back is going to be incredibly long. So I figure, let's test out what the water physics are like. In theory, landing in the water should mean no damage, right? And worst case scenario, we just have to get from our base over there to come back and get our corpse. I mean, we've, we've done that once already. It can't be that bad, right? Oop. Geronimo. Oh. Yep, we can... And no damage. Okay. Perfect. Well, oh. Never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. Note to self. Don't try surface near the poison gas things. Bad idea. Bad idea. Got it. Got it. All right. Let's go home and hopefully we don't get squished by anything along the way. The inventory is just full to bursting right now. So anyway, back at the research lab. What do these alien organisms give us? Uh, there was something we wanted down here. Expanded tool belt. And we also wanted inflated pocket dimension. I think inflated pocket dimension is going to be my favorite. We need 2000 copper cable for that. Five minutes? Okay, fine. Take your five minutes. What's the other one? Yeah, five minutes for that one as well. We'll be back. While we're waiting for our precious research to complete, let's have a quick look at this hub here. We haven't done it in a while, and we can get our hands on jump pads. Do we need them? No, we, we don't actually need the jump pads. But that knocks out every single one of these tier one and tier two things. So now I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, let's go with space elevator. Should have done this ages ago. I'm gonna concrete iron. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff and we're gonna get ready to chuck down the uh, space elevator. I was going to try and place our uh, our space elevator over there. Why? Well, it seemed like a nice place, but unfortunately, it's a little bit big and it just won't really sit anywhere. So instead, we put a big uh, big mound of concrete down here, and we should be able to just chuck it right there. And this will be the access at this time. I think last time I had it on some weird. Oh yeah, that is pretty. I remember this now. Oh, damn. They really got some of the construction animations down in this really, really nice day. Okay. Show me the space elevator. Bring it on down. Come on. We are ready to receive the hook. No? Anytime? There we go. How low in orbit? Like, that's just the end of the space elevator thing, I presume? Because that thing's... Yep, super cool. I'm pretty sure we can deconstruct it and put it in a different place again anyway. And we are hooked. Perfect. All right, then. Let's find out what the next things we're going to need are. Hmm. Yep, don't. Don't squash me. Bold. This may sting a little. Mm. You know what? We heal back up to three automatically, so it's not a big deal. They want uh, smart plating. Seriously? Fine. We'll get you your smart plating. Uh, give me a few minutes. Oh, wait, no. Research first. All right. You better be giving me more extra dimensions to pocket stuff in. Pocket and dimension has been inflated. Excellent. Thank you kindly. Uh, next up, plus one hand equipment slot. Yeah, I, I think we'll be taking one of those. Actually, let's see what else we've got going on. Oh, I need to get my hands on more criteria more. Never mind, I thought... Oh, fine, I'll go grab some more of that later. Nutrient-wise... Ah, the bacon. Yeah, anything with bacon in it, we gotta do it. And what does this next get us? Nutritional mix? Okay, for that we're gonna need... Yeah, stuff we don't have just yet. Uh, quartz. Ah, damn it. I need more quartz. Fine, I'll get you more quartz and I'll get you more whatever. And then we'll have to figure out what that is. Coal. Oh, wait a minute. I can find you some coal. No problems. All right, uh, next. This new goal only requires a few bits and pieces, and we're actually producing both of them. It requires some of these, uh, uh, what do you call them, reinforced iron plates, and it requires rotors. So we just stick together three assemblers. Um, all three of those assemblers are designed to make the rotors using the reinforced iron plate and the rotors, and then off they go into our mm, space elevator. And done. Now, since these only do, what, like two per minute? Oh, that is... Horrible. Well, we'll be getting six per minute. I think I'll go shoot some stuff, maybe. Actually, no, I think we're good for now. We've got all the tech and research. No, Caterium. I'll go find some Caterium and some Quartz while we're waiting. After a whole bunch of exploring, we've come back and we've got several more things we can do now. Uh, where is it? Ah, Caterium. Definitely have enough of that stuff. We'll do our three seconds of research. One, two, three, and analysis complete. Perfect. We can now make quick... Oh, no, we need to smelt up some Caterium to make quick wire. 
And it'll give us inflated pocket dimension number two. Oh, hell yes. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm going to get that. We need to... That, that's the very next thing on the agenda. Having more space is just amazing. Uh, oh, power slugs. We found one of those. Uh, in fact, we found several. We've got three blue power slugs. We will start the research on you. I think I've got a yellow one as well and something else. Uh, the analysis of the blue power slug is complete. Please choose a new node in the tree. I have a yellow one somewhere, don't I? Oh, and we have a blue one. Um, that takes two minutes. Let's see if there's anything else we can knock out that's a little bit quicker. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we got plenty of quartz. And that one will require us to have some silica something or other. I think we can grab that in a minute. Sulfur, haven't found any coal. I need to do a little bit of a search for coal. We did have a yellow slug in storage, so let's start this power shard. Mucus from the power slug is compressed into a solid crystal-like shard. It radiates a unique energy. Okay. Um... Great, that allows us to research purple ones. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll get around to those. Hey, I already have a purple one. I just need a bunch more modular frames. We'll we'll worry about that in a minute. We can also research that one. Oh god damn it! There's too much stuff to research. All right, let me knock out the last of this. We have knocked out a whole bunch of research there. Just ah, just random stuff. We still haven't got zip lines though. However, this is all finished. The smart plating. So we are just gonna load that up, seal and sand. Come on. Yep, okay, finish your animation. There you go. Stick the box in. And then that thing should fire it off, is it? What are you doing? Come on. There we go. Shut out, shut out into space. Now, that should unlock level three, which... Oh, damn it, we're going to have to go back to our little thingy over here, aren't we? You know, we might want to move this hub in a bit to somewhere closer, but uh, for now... Sending all those supplies unlocked to your three and got us access to coal power. This is going to be incredibly handy. Oh, all we need is reinforced iron plate. Let me go grab a hundred iron plate. All right, let's knock out coal power. I probably should have done this a while ago, but I got distracted. The exploration, this is actually really fun. All right, launcher off. Now that gets us coal power. Milestone reach. Nice. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass okay. and can be fully automated if provided rotors, blah blah blah. blah. Excellent. Let me have a quick goosey to see what we're gonna need. I think we're gonna need water for this. So if we need water for this, we're gonna need pumps and a few other things. Checking through here, the coal generator is gonna require a bunch of stuff we already have being produced for us. However, it also requires a few other things like oh water extractors. Which requires that uh, coppery whatchamacallit. Uh, some kind of copper thing we never bothered getting around to making. However, I've uh, added that to our production setup up here, which uh, it, it'll be a while. We're going to actually start stockpiling the stuff for a while. But while that's going on, I discovered something else. Ow. Yep. Also, we can't reach him quite from that high. In Inside here, when we sent up that uh, chunk to the space elevator, it unlocked tier 3 and tier 4. I never even noticed. Uh, we got to do phase 2 if you want to unlock... Five and six. Hmm. But anyway, yes. Improved melee combat. All it requires. Rotors. Got those. Reinforced. We got them all. We got them all. No, no, yep. Yeah, just go. Go. It, it, all done. Excellent. Improved melee combat. Dear Lord. Okay, so we've got improved melee combat and we want to go set up some Milestone coal generators. Let me just see what we need. Your pocket dimension. Okay, two Xeno Zappers. Uh, yeah, give me one. Come on. And uh, just one more. Boom. Okay, that should give us a Xeno Basher. Okay. Nice. And done. I say we take this sucker out for a spin. I like the sort of power creep that's crept in here now. Like, we've got the gun, but we've also got this... Well, okay, this sword with this just adorable little wrench keychain just sort of hanging off the bottom of it there. Yeah, let's, let's go find some of those angry dog things to go kill. Oh, and uh, actually, that's what we can go do. We can go find the nearest coal, start setting up coal power, and simultaneously killing ourselves some... Four hundred seven. Yeah, I knew it was over there somewhere. All right, let's go get some coal and some kills. Oop! Looks like I found a couple of doggos. Oh wow, that is way faster. Okay, I, I get why the gun is is useful, but not as good as this thing. Come here, boy. Come here. One at a time or all at once. Don't care. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That that is so much faster. I still think I'll prefer the gun for taking on long-range fights, but for close-range stuff, yeah, those guys were just a doddle. Oh. No. 
nope, nope, that's a big bowl of nope for me. I'm gonna leave you over there, buddy, until I can find somewhere to shoot you from, like up there. I think we're gonna get up on that height, and then we're gonna shoot you from a distance. Yep, yep, that that's good plan. And behold, we have found ourselves some coal, and it is pure. So, down there is the water, up here is the coal, and we need to get the coal down to the water so that we can put ourselves together a coal generator. They require It requires water, and I think it's easier to move the coal down than it is to pump the water up. So, let's just grab ourselves one of our Mark 1 miners, uh, rotate it ooh, that way. Yeah, that way looks fine. It will still need, uh, well, we're still going to need to get power to it somehow, but I suppose it can power itself, technically, when we're finished. We're going to need a Mark II belt to make this work, so ooh, we are going to be going down here. Let me uh, figure out how I'm going to get this, navigate this down to the water's edge. So we have brought this all the way down from up there. It's not that far, it's just around the corner. And uh, this brings us right beside the water. Now, let's throw that in a quick coal generator. These things look huge. Uh, we can fit one there. I think these are about 75 megawatts a piece. So we're, we're going to need a couple of these to power a whole base, but that should get us started. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, wait. No, we need a splitter here, don't we? How much do these things take? You know what? We'll power up the first one. We can do all the splitting and all of that later. For now, done. So you're going to need water on top of that, aren't you? Yeah, a whole bunch of it. And uh, let's go stick a water pump down here. Should be fairly simple. Should be under production. Yeah, water extractor. Uh, nope, nope. Rotate around this way. I'm not sure how many of these we're going to need, so we're just going to put you right there. Uh, then what are we going to need? Yep, some sort of piping. So logistics. Grand pipe. Okay. okay. Yep, this, 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 this might take a little bit of getting used to. Fine. Then done. All right then. All we need to do now is power them. Oh, that is going to that's going to need power. This is going to need power. I think we throw down a quick bio burner here just to bootstrap us, and then we use that to get the coal generator started. Once the coal generator started, then uh, should power itself. After a little bit of faffing about, we end up with this biomass burner connected to this power pole, which feeds, well, the generator, the water pump, and the mine over there. So in theory, all we should have to do is dump in some leaves. That should start burning, which should start the coal flowing and the water pumping. Do we have water? No, we do not. Damn it. Wait. wait I want to be able to see the water pump. This might take a minute. All right, the water's going up. That's a good sign. Now we just need for the coal to flow in. I'm not sure exactly how much coal this thing uses. Uh, let's throw in 43. Oh, yeah, so it uses 15, 15 coal per minute. Oh, wow. That means we can run an absolutely ludicrous amount of these things. It produces 75 megawatts. That's... Oh, my God. Okay, okay. So, the Mark II belt on a pure node can produce 120 coal per minute. This thing consumes 15 coal per minute. And it produces 75 megawatts. Okay. Um... Well, one second... You have... You've actually stopped because you're not necessary anymore. Well, that's fine. We'll put you on standby. No need for you. And we've got 75 megawatts of capacity. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So the plan. Okay, the plan is very simple. We're going to tap into a whole bunch of coal nodes all over the map and plug them back to our base so we never have to refill our organic burners ever again. Jesus, this is going to... We could quadruple our power requirements. Oh, no, no, not going to think about it now. Just some things I would really like to note. Uh, that coal generator is over there, and our base is over there. And normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to run miles around all these cliff faces to get back to our base. But, uh, as someone helpfully suggested in the comments, just make ramps using transport belts. Um, and later on you'll get jump jet packs and all sorts of things. But for now, while we're low-tech, we can just... 
well, to get back to base, instead of running all the way around, we sort of hop along here and use this transport belt to get all the way back up to our base without having to bother with all that. And we don't even need these ramps here. There's, um, well, we don't even need this to get precisely to here. You could get up to there if you want. There's there's all sorts of ways you can do it. I mean, even to get from the ground floor to the top floor, I, uh, I, I've thrown in the odd occasional just a slightly ramp here and there just to make things more convenient for me. It's just one of those tips that I never would have thought of until someone mentioned, hey, just put those everywhere. And they're super cheap. You can make them out of uh, just basic iron plate, all done. The whole reason we stopped massively bulking up our power was I wanted to come back here and research black powder. Uh, we'd finally got our hands on some coal, so why not? Hey, it's three seconds and it, it black powder is, you know, explosive. There's got to be something good down here, right? Volatile applications. Okay, so we need black powder. Oh, yes. Explosives, here we come. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I, I'm, I'm out of time for today. This... <laughs> uh, I can sort of see the addiction of this game. At the start, I was like, okay, I was just building stuff and doing the things, but there's not. it's not just the building. There's the whole planet to explore and random stuff you find everywhere. And I'm not just talking about those presents. I'm talking about the critters you find out there and the weapons they give you are... Um... Well, okay, they're, they're not exactly optimal. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, well, at least they give you some free targets and those things. But, uh... For example, down, where is it? I think it's up there. There was a source of caterium. And, caterium? Whatever, I'm, I'm mangling all the pronunciations I know. I don't care. But uh, I had to get up to it and then get back down. As you can see, I just ran a whole bunch of transport belt all the way down. So I can get up and down out of there without too much effort now. But I did have to go through the back area, kill a bunch of monsters, find some weird artifact that made the computer lady sp speak in quite an evil voice. She sounded like Hal 9000 or Halet. How, what's the female of Hal? Never mind. Turns out there is no female version of Hal. Or male. Uh, wait. I don't think, think that thing even noticed. This thing is sort of like a lob cannon. It's a bit like firing a crossbow bolt. Like if we uh, say aim up at that cliff face over there, you'll see it sort of like trail off and drop off. Yep. Yep. There we go. It's not exactly a hit scan type of weapon. Uh, I am going to cut this out here today. It's just I have been... I have run over a lot of this map, found lots and lots of things, but what I've really been happy about is finding that coal. We are going to grab that coal, and we are going to use it to power entire base and never have to fill any of those bio burners again. I, I really should have rushed for that a little bit faster, but, uh, you know, first time I wanted to wallow around a bit at the lower end of the tech tree. It was kind of fun. When it comes to recording stuff in this game, I only turn it on when something important is going to happen. However, I do have Shadow Play installed. So Shadow Play is it uh, records, it keeps fi the last five minutes, a rolling five minutes of uh, your playtime, and you can just press a button at any point and save everything that has happened in the last five minutes. Uh, though for some reason it, it's giving me, it's not giving me stereo sound on uh, the microphone. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I should probably look into that. I, just, I don't use it much. Anyway, this is my uh, attempts at trying to tame a lizard doggo. Yeah. Uh, sorry.